Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we're doing something you can probably find everywhere. Pollo de Monterey Excalibur Black. So yeah, I had this uh, cigar a while back. I didn't know they released a black. So I like the Excalibur back in the days. So now that they have black, I'm going to smoke black right so let's take a good look at this cigar shall we all right so the cigar is released by general cigars obviously it's a hoyo de monterey cigar it is in a toro size six by 52 msrp six dollar and 69 cents and the blend is gotta be connecticut broadleaf varietal what does that mean i don't know it's a dark wrapper Underneath Ecuadorian Sumatra binder over the Honduran and Nicaraguan filler. And it's made in Honduras. They made um, these come in box of 20s. And you can see the the the, the wrapper is a little bit toothy. And yeah, the foot kind of expanded. I wonder why. It's not like it's too much humidity or anything, but it has a little, a little expanding. I think that kind of damage when, when they're cutting this. It's definitely not from my personal damage because this came in a cellar when I got it. Okay. So let's start smoking this thing. Hmm. Like stinky. Leafy stinkiness. That's how I smell. Sometimes, when you gotta have two cigar review a day, you need something to eat. That's why you see me chowing down a, a beef jerky stick thingy. Mm. See, this is what happened. When like the cap, they only glue the top and nothing, absolutely nothing on the side. Nothing. There was nothing that's glued this down. Man. And you can tell this is actually from the original leaf. So it's like from this leaf all the way up. This they just they just put it together. Man, that's not how you do it, man. That's not how you do it. Okay. So let me put a little bit of glue on here. Definitely not me. If there's any glue, you have ripped it off, but nope. There is no glue in there. But we will put some there. We will put some there. General Cigar, come on, man. General Cigar. Gee. I have a little bit of decency. A man's trying to smoke here. My viewers try to look at a cigar review, not Cigar Unravel. All right. Let's get this done. Get on there. Put a little bit extra on the side. Get it on. Get it on. 
right? It's not a problem. Not a big problem. Happens. Happens. All right, happens. $8.69 cigar. I can't really... Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. You know, I wish these glue work faster, but they don't, so... All right, that's on there. Now, don't tell me because my cutting was bad. Look how sharp this cut is. This cut is sharp, yo. See that? Nice cut. Just the wrapper. <clears throat> Just the cap they put on there. Not that good. Not that good. All right. Let's see if it moves around when I try to. This... Top leaf is just not listening. You know what? I'm gonna shorten it. So it's not that much you attach to it. There we go. Ah, better. 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 I need a little bit more. <clears throat> Shake it up. Well, I guess a little bit of waiting time is involved, so we'll do some editing magic. So you don't have to wait for this stupid shit. All right, so now I kind of got this glued on. I, I doing this thing, got my hat off, and now I got to put my hat back on, just so that I can get on the groove. And let's get started. Bonyard, maybe a little bit of saltiness, chocolate, like cocoa, maybe a little raisin, kind of like it, it kind of insinuating it's going to be a good one. <clears throat> So I get this through, light it up. Light, light, light. Pepper. A lot of pepper and a little bit of saltiness. There is a little bit of saltiness. Bonyard. Cedar. Oh, a lot of pepper. That bit of saltiness is kind of nice. I don't know. There's a little bit of sweetness. I'm not sure where it came from yet because all the pepper just will wash it off. Wash it off. Can't tell. Woodsy, cedary-ish. Maybe a little bit of espresso, just dark. And there's a little bit of sweetness 
like an overall sweetness. It's not really identifying itself that well yet because of the pepper, but we'll see after one um, wonder. Wonder. We'll be right back. A lot of flavor for this. You still got that pepper. Kind of went down a little bit, but you got the pepper. You got a little bit of sweetness. You got a little bit of espresso and cocoa. You got a little bit of that, I don't know, scratchy, itchy saltiness here and there. Um, you got a really faint chestnut or something like that. Um, and that's pretty much it for now, for the first stir. I wouldn't say that's too little. But that pepper does bother me a little bit. Because it's overwhelmingly killing out this other flavor. Hopefully that die down even more and I'll have all the other flavor ramp up a little bit. I like the sweetness and I like that that cocoa chocolate flavor. I hope that comes up a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see where that goes, right? So for now, first third, we're gonna go to the second third, and we can see this second band up close. Be right back. All right, second third. So second third. Second third, everything died down. Pepper's still there, but everything died down. That's kind of disappointing. Everything died down. There's not much I can describe it because it's just everything died down. And you get a little bit of that burning sensation and a little bit of woodsiness. That's it. And you taste like there's something else there, but none of the things like is strong enough to say, I'm here. They're like, oh, I'm behind the door. Can't really see us, but pepper, you go right through. And that is the first second band. It says black and with the some like uh, you know decoration on it. I think the decoration is pretty cool. I like it. I like how the band just breaks off like that easily. I, I know it's really everybody should make band like that. It just breaks off easily, clean, nice, nice black with silver and this. I, I like this color. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So last star. Going through Laster and then will give you a price as usual. <clears throat> it is like a standard price cigar, so it wouldn't be too much different anyway. So yeah, smoke through Laster. Be right back. All right, so Laster, Laster, um, just woodsy and peppery. Everything died, woodsy and peppery. So where is this uh, cigar sets? Oh, actually, no, there's a little bit. of saltiness as well but where the cigar sets the cigar sets at a normal cigar don't expect too much level so i'll set this at seven dollars seven dollars where the cigar sets it's a normal cigar for a beginner i think that's really good to train your palate but for someone that smoked for a while it might be too blunt for you so, yeah, that will be it for this particular review. There, uh, it is. It is not crazy. It is not good. But I will show you guys the band. Either way. Compared to the regular Excalibur, it's pretty much the same, but different color. The red, silver. The bottom is just gray. It's not even silver. Bottom is gray. It's not silver. The top is have a little bit of silver. And um, Excalibur, same thing. Yeah, $7. $7 is where you got to get it. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> yeah, not much to it. Not much to it. It's one of those try ones. Kind of train your blend palette kind of thing for beginners. I think if I'm a beginner, I'll, I'll probably enjoy it. Uh, the strength is about medium. Kind of creep up to medium plus a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. So yeah, that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, think about it. Talk, tell me about your experience. Tell me if you like uh, Excalibur. And if not, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.